what is going on guys this is Roger from OTR Gamer TV and in this video we're going to be covering the need for speed car list specifically the convertible car so we're not going to be talking about all the 120 plus cars that have been covered by almost every YouTuber we're going to specifically talk about the convertible cars that I'm looking for to drive forward to drive in I know most of you are looking forward to drive in and most of these cars are new to the game anyway and I've not been in much racing games on the PS4 uh, I can't say anything about the Xbox because Forza has a ton of cars, but on the PS4 there hasn't been much convertible cars unless you're playing a fake game like GTA. So, without any further ado, let's kick off this um, car list that includes all, and I mean all, A to Z, of the convertible cars that are coming to Need for Speed Heat. Now if I do miss anything guys, please do let me know in the comment section below. Type anything that you think I've missed. Um, I'm pretty sure I covered all of the angles because I've studied most of the videos and car lists that have come out that cover most of them anyway but none of them actually just focus on the convertible cars so yeah comment section below let me know if i missed the car and let's crack cracking on this list now the first car that we have guys is the bmw i8 roadster now there's two i8s in the game the first one is the normal coupe with the hard top on it and then this is the second one that you can buy separately like in real life so there hasn't really been a bmw i8 in a ps4 game I know most of you guys are going to say, oh, but we got Forza. Yes, we have Forza, but we do not have a i8 in the PS4. Um, so this is the first time the Need for Speed is coming in the... I mean, sorry, this is the first time the BMW i8 is coming into Need for Speed. It hasn't been in the crew. Probably hasn't been in many other racing games on the PS4, but we have an i8, finally. So looking forward, definitely looking forward to driving that, guys. It's a convertible. It's an electronic car, but it's going to be beautiful when you're cruising down the Miami type. Uh, roads in need for speed now this next car is a car i'm definitely looking forward to i'm pretty sure most of uh my um asian brothers are going to be looking forward to it too as well so the bmw m4 convertible is in need for speed heat yeah you have the um the hard top as well guys so most of these cars that are coming that i'm showing you most of them have the original hard tops in there as well so you've got the normal hard top bmw m4 m4 gts and then you've got the m4 convertible I think there's another type as well, but I'm not sure if anyone knows it. Do drop it in the comment section below. But I'm definitely, definitely looking forward to buying this car. Probably making it the same color you see in the image right now. Blue, then I'm going to make it white and black and whatnot. But I can't. I'm, I actually can't wait for this car. This car looks beautiful with the top down. With the top up, you know, doesn't look as good as the hard top. But with the top down, which is what it's made for, it looks absolutely beautiful. I know most of you guys are going to buy this. Let me know if you guys are going to buy this in the comment section below. Next, we have the uh, Z4 convertible. Now, to be honest, I didn't even know that this uh, this car was in the game. Again, I had to watch people's videos and to find out what cars were in the game. This BMW is a Z4 M4 OI or something like that. But it's a convertible. It looks pretty clean. Um, it looks mean at the front, to be honest, and the side, but I'm not feeling really the back. Uh, it it's kind of looks like an M8 at the front, which makes me want to buy it. But again, it's a convertible car, so I'm thinking maybe I will buy it. Anyone buying this car in the game in Need for Speed? Again, I'm going to ask you guys about this every car, to be honest. Like, who's buying the M4? Sorry, who's buying the M4 and who's buying the Z4? But, yeah, it, it looks like a, a car that I might buy, you know, during the end of the game. Now, this beautiful, beautiful car that we see right now, guys, is the Ferrari 458 Spider. Definitely buying this car, guys. It's so beautiful. Yes, you have the hard top in the game. And you have other Ferraris as well, 488s and 488 Pistas and LaFerraris and... Ferrari uh, XXK, but this car though, the Ferrari 458, I'm definitely buying. Guys, I can see me driving this in the Miami type map that we're going to have. Sunny, sunny, sunny area. I'm going to be cruising in either a blue one, a bright ultra blue one. Obviously the red one, I'm going to change up the paint. But I'm 100% get buying this car, guys. So let me know as well who's buying this Ferrari 458 in the comment section below. But definitely a new thing. Well, Ferrari's not new to Need for Speed. It was in 2015. And another need for speeds, but it's back again in payback. I don't know about the customization. Now, this car was unexpected. The Jaguar F type convertible. Now, there was a um, normal F type, which is also in the uh, need for speed heat, but there was a normal F type in um, in uh, payback. So now we have the convertible Jaguar F type, which is also in there. I don't know if I'm gonna buy this car, but it depends how it sounds because the need for speed it did sound easy. So I might just buy it. It might be like the Z4, it might be one of those cars that I'll buy. When I'm done buying every other car that I want to buy. So anyone that's buying a Jag, comment comment below if you want to buy this car. 
But yeah, it's, you know, it's something new. It's something to look forward to. And you never know, it could be one of those cars that ends up being pretty fast. And I might have to end up buying it anyway. But to me, I'm preferring a Ferrari. Definitely buying the i8. Buying that M4. Oh, and now I'm buying this car, guys. The Lamborghini Aventador S Roadster. Again, this is a convertible. I don't know if you guys can see clearly. But this car is a convertible also. And again, in the game, you're going to come up with... There's two. So there's like... I think two. Yeah, there's like four Aventadors. So there's an Aventador S, which is the hard top. Then there's this one. Aventador S uh, Roadster. And then the following ones are going to come up too. The Aventador SVJ and the Aventador SVJ Roadster. So those are the convertibles for Lambos. There's more coming up as well, guys. But this car, definitely buying. So you know there's a normal Aventador in the game. And I'm definitely buying this beautiful car to match with my Ferrari 458 in my garage. I know most of you guys are going to be buying this car as well. Now, they sold a separate car for those of you that are thinking, oh, but is, is it like an option where you take off the roof? No. So there's the SVJ uh, Roadster right there, guys. So again, you've got the SVJ hardtop, which is separate. And then you've got the eventual SVJ Roadster, which is the convertible type. Now, yeah, so these cars are sold separately. They're going to be sold separately. They're not going to be bought as you can't just buy like an Aventador S and then have an option to take off the roof like you can with the convertible cars in the game. No, no, no. These cars are sold separately, which, you know, some people like it. I like it, to be honest. I mean, that means I can have like, instead of me having one Aventador with a roof off, I can have an Aventador S hardtop, Aventador S convertible, Aventador SVJ hardtop, Aventador SVJ convertible. So when it's raining, I'm putting out the other one. When it's sunny, I'm cruising with the other one. Now... Most of you are going to be like, that's unnecessary, but who cares? It's a game. Moving on to the Lamborghini Hurricane Spider. Now, this is a beauty, guys. Everybody's going to buy this. I know a lot of people are going to buy this. Again, there's four Lamborghini Hurricanes in the game. There's the Hurricane Hard Top, which is also in the game. You have this beautiful Spider that's in the game. And then you have the Hurricane Perfemonte Hard Top. And then you have the uh, Hurricane Performante Spider. When I say hardtop, the, the, the name is not actually hardtop. It's just the original name. The Spider is the convertible name. Again, I'm buying this. I don't know if I'm going to buy the um, hardtop of this. I'm definitely going to buy the convertible. Um, the question is, the roof will come up and down anyway. But if that will affect speed and things like that, then I might you know, think about my purchases. But these are one of the cars that I'm going to be definitely buying in the beginning. So the Ferrari, the Aventador. And here it is, guys, the Hurricane Performante Spider. Again, Need for Speed could have just made the option to just remove the rooftop from the original cars. But I actually like that it is because, you know, it just gives people the option to buy two different cars. And obviously it increases their car list for no reason whatsoever. But I'm preferring it. I'm glad that there's convertible cars finally because I don't know why racing games such as The Crew, Need for Speed, Drive Club, even though I don't like Drive Club, but like open world games don't have convertible cars. Real racing games, not, so I'm not even talking about GTA, like just pure need for speed and real licensed cars racing games. So I'm glad that they bought these uh, Lambos with their rooftop available option now. So we've got Spiders and we've got Roadsters. Definitely looking forward to buying those. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys are looking forward to buying that. Now the next car is a Mazda MX-5 Miata. And I don't know if I said that right or not, but this is the only tuner car that comes with uh, the, which is a convertible to be honest. So that's in the game. So um, the hardtop's also in the game. So you have the original Miata, with the hardtop that's in there. And then obviously you've got the convertible one in there as well. Now, I'm not really a fan of this. This is, I'm probably not even gonna buy this at all guys, unless they have a crazy body kit on it, like a Liberty Walk type wide body kit on it to make the car look completely different. I know some of you might buy this. Some of you Tuna JDM fans be like, yeah, yeah, I'm buying that. But me, nah. Nah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I don't think I'm going to be a fan of this car. But, as I said, this is not about my opinion on what I'm buying. It's about what convertible cars are in Need for Speed Heat. And this is one of them. Moving on, we've got the McLaren 570S Spider. Beautiful car. Again, another car that I'm going to add to my collection. One of the first couple cars I'm going to buy are going to be, most of them are going to be convertibles, like I said. This is definitely on that list as well. It'll be after the Aventadors and the Ferraris. It'll definitely be right there. Um, definitely looking forward to this car. Well. This car's going to be a beast. There's also a bunch of other McLarens in there as well. P1. Um, there's the... Uh, there's not the center actually, which is surprising. But there's a loads of P, there's a loads of McLarens in there. And there's a hardtop of the 570 as well. So don't get pump panic, guys. But 
out of the McLaren, I'm definitely looking forward to this one. Just because it's a convertible. Definitely going to buy this as well. Let me know, guys, if you are going to buy this car. Um, so, yeah, definitely adding this one to my list. Uh, the next car, actually, yeah, you know what? The, the next car I'm definitely buying as well. Now, the AMG GT original comes in the game anyway. And now you've got the AMG GT Roadster. As I don't have to say no more, guys. It's a beautiful, it's a German engineering Mercedes convertible car in there. Now, there's a bunch of Mercedes in the game already. You've got everything that was from Payback. So, the G-Wagon, the uh, AMG GT, which is the hard top of this. You've got the C63 AMG Coupe. Um, and, I'm, and I'm pretty sure you're going to have a few others as well. But, the convertible cars, you have the AMG GT Roadster. This is the type of car that I'm going to have when I'm racing the... Um, the Beamers, the, the other German cars, you know. So when I do a German Karmic, guys, because you know we're going to do Karmic on this game. Need for Speed Heat Karmics are a definite happening on this channel. So if you're a fan of Need for Speed Heat, be tuned. Stay tuned for that. Now, moving on, we've got Porsches. Porsches popping up right now. We've got the Porsche Carrera GTS Cabrio. Now, guys, correct me if I'm wrong. I could be wrong. But not really a fan of Porsches, but because it's a convertible, you know, I might consider it. When I'm buying the Porsches, again, after I bought pretty much everything. But there's one Porsche in particular I'm definitely going to buy, which is what I'm going to show you right at the end, guys. But yes, the Porsche Carrera GTS Cabrio is a convertible. There's a hard top in there as well. So you've got the convertible and the hard top again. I'm hoping when you're actually in the game, like in GTA, there's an option to, you know, press, you know, directional pad or whatever button to take the roof off and on. Um... But any Porsche fans, have I got have I got any Porsche fans in the comments, guys? Are you buying which Porsche are you guys gonna buy? Because there's more coming up. Now this Porsche that I'm showing you right now is the Porsche 911 Targa for GTS. Now I could be saying that name wrong, but I don't know why you guys name these these weird names. But the Porsche 911 Targa, I hope it's that Targa Targa for GTS. Again, you get the hard top coming in the game, and now you got the you know the convertible rooftop. This ain't really a convertible, it's just almost like a it looks like you could just take the roof off, but it's in the game, and it's one of the cars that I'm going to be considering buying. So, yeah, you know, that's the same picture as, um, it's the same car, guys, just a different picture, and it looks a little better in red. So if I do buy a Porsche, if I do buy this Porsche, I might buy it in red. But I don't know, I'm not really a fan, like, what do you guys think, you know? You going to buy this car? I don't know. I'm probably going to end up buying every single car in the game anyway, but I'm hoping there's money glitches that come out straight away. But there you go, that's another convertible car right there for you Porsche lovers. Now, this ain't over here, guys. There's a lot more Porsches coming through. And uh, we're going to jump to that right about now. There you go. Now, this Porsche over here was a bit hard to find. It's a Porsche 911 Turbo Exclusive Cabrio. Now, as you guys can see, it is an exclusive Porsche. Um, and the top is off. So, there's two types of cars. I think there's a hard top exclusive and obviously the convertible. Which they call the Cabrio, or they, they have a full name for it, but you know, Porsche 911 Turbo exclusive for any of you Porsche lovers is in. I'm actually considering buying this one actually. More than more than the two that I've shown you right now, this will be my second Porsche that I'll be buying. But this Porsche right here is definitely one I'm gonna be buying. Porsche 918 Spider, beautiful car, guys. Evil hypercar was amazing in my um in a uh, Need for Speed Payback. It was actually pretty fast. So I'm definitely going to buy this one. So this is going to be up there on the list after the uh, Ferraris and Lambos. Maybe before the McLaren, actually. I don't know. I think I might buy the 918. But that concludes the whole convertible list, guys. I'm hoping you guys enjoyed that video. There's about 10 to 15 convertible cars in there. Most of them are also going to have hardtops in there. So they're just like two variations. The 918, I think, is, is only comes in the Spider version. There's not the hardtop version. But... Anyway, guys, like, share, comment, subscribe. All you Need for Speed Heat lovers out there. Also, remember, we're going to be doing car meets on Need for Speed Heat when the game does come out. So if you love to do car meets and you love to crew and you love to race, all three of those aspects will be involved into the channel. The days will be added as well. But make sure you smash that like button, guys. Hit that subscribe and notification bell if you're new here. I said right now! And I'll catch you guys in the next Need for Speed Heat video. Peace!